Welcome back, Dragon Ball Z fans, to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 1. My name is Unreal Entertainment Gaming, and let's get started today with the Majin Buu Saga, everybody. This is going to be long as hell. Let's go with the prologue, shall we? This was actually one of the best sagas, in my opinion. Here we go. Seven years after the Z Fighters saved the Earth from the evil cell, the planet was once again in prayer. This time, the wizard Bobbity, who has a nervous scheme to afford his resurrection, terrifying Majin Majin Buu. Uh, the Z Fighters stand up once more to an end to Bobbity's plan, putting themselves face to face with the final and most fearsome of battles. So they say, until Bills. Alright, here we go, guys. This is Gohan versus Goten. The first time Goten became a Super Saiyan. Now, I remember when that first happened. When, I, when that first happened, ladies and gentlemen, I thought Goten was supposed to be like like supremely strong because here you have a little kid who mastered you know one of the most legendary of transformations in the saiyan race you know and for me i was just like oh shit gohan's about to fight goten as a super saiyan this is gonna get real interesting real quick here we go all right you ready yeah my god I mean, the fact that Gohan has a lot more <coughs> experience than Goten, it says it all right there. But the fact that, you know, Goten actually transformed into a Super Saiyan, that, that's what kind of got me. I don't know about you guys, but, uh, I mean, do you guys think it was the right thing for them to do to make Gohan uh, fight Goten as a Super Saiyan? Or do you guys think Goten should have ascended to a Super Saiyan at a, at a different time period? Uh, personally, for me, I think Goten should have transformed as a Super Saiyan at the World Martial Arts Tournament, along with Trunks at the exact same time, because that right there would shock everybody. I mean, at least for me. <clears throat> um, it, it would make a lot more sense, if you want to think about it, if Goten and Trunks transformed at, at, as a Super Saiyan during the tournament, because, uh, you know, think about it. Vegeta would be watching every... Oh, I, I've been disconnected from Xbox Live again. Uh, Vegeta would have been watching. Uh, Goku would have been watching. Everybody, you know? Do what? Do what to? You know that Super Saiyan thing. Ha! Ah. <laughs> you can try, but I think it's still a little early for you to become a Super Saiyan. Hmm, <laughs> says the Leo man. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. When Goten first transformed, I swear to God, I shat myself. Look at Gohan's face. Okay, here I go. Uh oh. Gohan was in pure shock. Like, he was just like, how the fuck did you become a Super Saiyan, number one? And he was like, well, mama trained me. I was like, oh, that's right. Chi-Chi unleashed the fucking beast within Goten. How strong do you guys think Gohan was during this time period? Like, after Cell and whatnot? Because, I mean, I remember when uh, Gohan first transformed into a Super Saiyan 2 in front of everybody. Vegeta was like, oh, you're nothing compared to what you were when you were a kid. So, does that initially mean that, you know, Team Gohan was a lot more powerful as a regular Super Saiyan than Adult Gohan? Or do you guys think otherwise? Um, personally, for me, I, I highly doubt it. I mean, I, I guess Vegeta was over-exaggerating a little bit because, I mean, as an adult, you would have gained more power and more, you know, fight experience, you know? Um, but I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Cleared. Oh, thank you, Goten. You have an amazing amount of potential. But Trunks is even stronger than I am. What? Seriously? If I'm not careful, they're gonna get stronger than I am. That would be pretty cool. But I like I really wish at the World Martial Arts Tournament we actually uh you know, had a chance to see Gohan versus Vegeta, or, uh, you know, Goten versus Goku, uh, Trunks versus Vegeta, that would have been pretty cool, you know, it's just like, they could have gone different routes, but they jumped right into it, here we go, oh, speak of the devil, Vegeta and Trunks, I remember Vegeta bribed him, he was like, if, if you can land one punch to my face, I'll take you to the park for an hour, and fucking Trunks powered up to like the max, and he managed to scrape Vegeta's face, and that's when he got so fucking mad that he decked his son right in the freaking nose. Poor Trunks. He went down to the ground. He was like, <laughs> Vegeta's like, stop bitching. Trunks, <clears throat> attack me. Uh oh. It's no good, Dad. You're too strong. If you can land even one punch on my face, I promise I'll take you to an amusement park. Really? You really will? Yes, attack me. For the love of God, you guys have the ability to fly. 
why can't you just fly to the amusement park on your own given will and just instead of having to go for permission i mean i i, I guess being a parent at, at for a saiyan you have to monitor them and shit but jesus christ you could have done you know other things as well you could have been like all right i'll give you permission to fly to the amusement park or some shit why would you take them you know that you know the poor kid has you know godly abilities why would you want to just take him yourself you know I wonder how powerful Vegeta was during that time period because he was training for seven years straight but at the same time he did promise that he wasn't gonna fight ever again and whatnot so well, what would be the point of training if you're not ever gonna fight you know but I guess Vegeta still had it in him that he wanted to become more powerful than Gohan even you know because he did get you know extremely jealous you know as much as nobody wants to admit that Vegeta was very jealous when Gohan transformed into a Super Saiyan 2, no question about it. Just a little, eh? Just a little bit, you say? How did you two get so strong so fast? Well, you guys did pop a squat and, you know, managed to pop kids after the Cell Saga, so that explains a lot, you know. But, I mean, nevertheless, go, go 10 versus Trunks, guys. Let me know in the comment section below on who you think would win. I think probably Trunks would win because <clears throat> go 10 is a little bit more gullible. As you can see right here, I can't unlock that. Oh, shit. I think the best battle in DBZ history, Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Super Saiyan 2 Majin Vegeta. My God, ladies and gentlemen, I swear to God, when I first saw this, <clears throat> it, it, legitly, it legitly gave me chills. Like, especially the way the atmosphere was. Um, granted, both of them still didn't give him their all. I'll explain. Hurt me and give my energy to Majin Buu. I'll use all the power I have to end this quickly. I can't wait to see the results of all that training you've been doing in the other world. I really don't think you want to see all of my results. Time for you to die. I'm already dead, Vegeta. What's wrong with you? Certainly, I like. Have you guys ever thought about what would happen if Go if Goku actually transformed into a Super Saiyan three while fighting Majin Vegeta? Like, have you guys ever thought about that? Because for me, I think uh, Goku. I mean, Goku could have easily won that battle. Everybody knows that. If you guys feel like Vegeta could have won, then you're incredibly stupid. Because the fact that Goku was holding back the entire time, he even admitted that. Goku admitted that he was holding back against Vegeta, and uh, for the simple fact that if. Goku transformed into a Super Saiyan 3. That would have been the end of of Goku. Uh, that would that would have been the end of Vegeta right then and there. I'm stuttering over my words right now because like that that's how intense this fight this fight is. And uh, th this actually goes back. You know, you have to go back and watch the fight very carefully. Um, for me, the fight was basically a tie because just look at the way they were both fighting. You know, as as Super Saiyan 2s, <clears throat> uh, I think perhaps. Vegeta may have had the edge a little bit, but, uh oh, not today you don't, Goku, fuck you, mega, um, but if Goku managed to say, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna transform right here, he could have easily annihilated Vegeta, there's no question about that, controlled by someone like him, just because you wanted to get stronger, I just wanted it to be like it used to be, wanted to go back to being a brutal, ruthless Saiyan with no cares in the universe, fighting with you to the death. Yes. And with this new power, I feel incredible. Is that really true? Goku, you can easily transform into a Super Saiyan 3 and decimate this dude. Why didn't you do it? Oh yeah, I forgot, because you're too fucking soft sometimes. Goku fucking shows mercy to everybody. Anyways, guys, have you guys ever thought about what would happen if Bobbity was somehow able to control Goku? Even though it's impossible, because Goku's, like, not, you know, he's not evil or whatnot. But just for the simple fact, imagine if Bobbity was able, somehow, some way, to find a way to control Goku. Because remember, Goku, he has a lot of heart, he has a lot of good inside him. But at the same time, Goku at the same time is very gullible, you know? Like, he can actually you know, fall for certain things, like, he fell for Vegeta's lie, and, uh, so for me, it's just, like, do you guys think that, uh, Bobbity would have, would have ever gotten a chance to control Goku while, as a Super Saiyan 2, you know? 
But also, guys, let me know in the comment section below who you think won this fight between Vegeta and Goku when they first fought as Super Saiyan 2s. Put this battle on hold. I'll clean up the mess I made and take care of Majin Buu. Then I'll settle things with you. I'm still alive, that is. Look at that. Vegeta even admitted right there that he may not come out uh, might may not come out alive. <clears throat> Majin Vegeta is a new character, great. I, I, I'm guessing Vegeta actually knew that he wasn't going to win, but he tried anyway, and uh, I think the only reason why he did the final explosion was to get rid of the whole Majin thing, to get rid of all the evil. Um, Piccolo even stated that, you know, he was just like, there's no way, you know, it's just like Vegeta's doing this because he wants to rid himself, he wants to just, you know, you know, just do this for once, you know, without, you know, having to put his pride in the way, you know, so Vegeta did it without pride. He did it because he did it because he loved everybody so that, that i mean uh, otherwise why would he say this is for you bulma trunks kakarot oh shit look at this fat bastard uh is that majin Buu? yes i could never forget that terrifying face now majin Buu, this is your first order kill those two Whoever played the voice of Bobbity, that was not the voice of Bobbity. Any Dragon Ball Z fan right now would recognize that and tell you right off the bat that that was not freaking Bobbity's voice. That, that, that's what I've always wondered, you know? Like, what happened to, like, half of these voice actors? Like, for example, in Dragon, Balls, in Dragon Ball Z Kai, whatever the fuck it is, it, it's, it's, so, it's so pathetic, you know? It's just like, Jesus Christ. The voice acting is definitely not there. Like, back in the day... The voice acting was fucking there. That was actually my favorite attack. Watch this. I love that attack so much. This, this is how he caught Gohan. I just freaking almost... I, I'll never forget that. Because freaking... That blast was so damn powerful that... I remember legitly the Supreme Kai got really, really scared. He was like, he'll die. You gotta give Gohan credit though. But do you guys think Gohan became a Super Saiyan 2 while fighting Majin Buu? I mean, a lot of people often say that he didn't. But, I mean, oh shit, here we go. Gohan's done. There's no way. Poor Gohan. Like, I remember when he first, like, fell into the trees and whatnot. I was like, is Gohan dead? Because that, 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 was, that was the whole theme. You know, Gohan's dead. And, th and this is the blast that caused it all right here. Gohan's done. I feel so bad for Gohan, guys. I mean, th this was a character that, th that actually defeated Cell. And here he is, just getting crippled by this fat, you know, planet-like monster called Majin Buu. You know, it's actually quite sad to see, but, I mean, Gohan... Do you guys think Gohan went Super Saiyan 2 while, while, while trying to fight Majin Buu? Let me know in the comment section below, right? All right, right now we're about to fight, you know, Vegeta versus uh, Majin Buu. Using Trunks as well. Oh my god, this ain't gonna end well. I don't know, I mean, I, I, at least Vegeta tried, you know, like, he, he actually, you know, went in there expecting that he was going to, uh, pretty much win, but once he realized that there was no way, he pretty much had to just do what he had to do, right, guys? Ugly, stupid lump, you Majin Buu! Ugly? Who angry? Who make you dead? Uh-oh. If I'm going to hell, then I'm taking you with me! Uh, Vegeta, about that. Uh... You, you don't necessarily win that battle, but, you know, what else can we say? Um, certainly, like, what do you guys think? Like, do you guys think that they should have at least done something different with Vegeta during the Majin Buu fight? Um, certainly he tried, and it looked like he was gaining the edge, but that, that was the whole establishment of Majin Buu. No matter what a full-powered Super Saiyan 2 would do, uh, it would still wouldn't be a match against a being like Majin Buu, because, um, we saw Vegeta legitly do things to Majin Buu that he didn't really do with Goku, and uh, certainly I think he should have used the final flash, that would have been pretty neat for him to do, uh, the final flash and all that other stuff, oh look at that, right through his fucking stomach, you know, like a big bang attack or something like that, like I, I, I would have definitely utilized him correctly.
this this is what really messed up Vegeta. That right there really messed him up for the simple fact that a after he pretty much did that explosion, Vegeta was like in, in bits. Like his arm was like busted. Oh god, mega! I mean, I, I don't know, Dragon Ball Kai, whatever the hell it is, it, it doesn't appeal to me anymore, guys, because it, it, it's definitely not the same. Not the same music, not the same voice actors. I mean, the, uh, yeah, granted, there are some, you know, very unique voice actors and whatnot that, you know, uh, but Sean Schimmel and Chris, man, I mean, it, it's just, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they've done a better job, you know, voicing the original Dragon Ball Z shit than this one, you know? Kai, Kai, I mean, visually, Kai looks great, but if you want to do the voice narration and the music and whatnot, Kai is shit. I don't know, let, let me know in the comment section below, guys, and your thoughts and opinions on that. As I'm trying to fucking crush Majin Once again, through his belly, it ain't working. I can't believe when Majin Buu fought Bills. Uh oh. Oh shit, my God. I was just about to do the uh, the final explosion right before he just attacked me, and the whole cutscene came in. Anyways, guys, I still can't believe that Majin Buu, right, a guy that everybody such has such a hard time with, you know, got beat by Bills just by, you know, Bills legitimately just threw him, and that was the end of the fight. That is very, very scary. And Battle of Gods, guys, will drop on DVD uh in september supposedly only it's it's, it's going to be only in japan from what i'm assuming i'm not entirely sure you can try and go pick it up on amazon when it drops uh-oh the hell are you doing vegeta why are we switching why are we switching trunks uh-oh what makes you guys think trunks would have done anything i mean yeah he what, what did he do he kicked him in the face or whatever the hell he did and majibu was like what the fuck oh here we go here we go bam did that work no I would have loved to see Future Trunks come back and just help fight Majin Buu. I mean, we all saw Future Trunks transform into a Super Saiyan 3, right? And for those of you out there who never saw that, you might want to go check that out because that was freaking amazing. I mean, once, once you know, Majin Buu was in that time period and he was messing everything up, we all saw Trunks turn Super Saiyan 3, and that right there was so amazing, at least for me, because... We saw so much from him, you know, and, and future Trunks would have, you know, done so much more to help, you know. Whereas in regular Trunks, you know, kid Trunks or whatever, he was pretty much like a little whiny, spoiled bitch. I mean, granted, Vegeta did put him in check a few times, but that still wasn't, like, you know, enough. Like, future Trunks was the Trunks that was pretty much badass. You know, I, I would prefer future Trunks over most of these characters any day of the week. Oh, shit. How does Majin Buu even know the Kamehameha? Anybody, ever, anybody ever thought about that for a second? Shit! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Mega. Mega. Am I dead? Please don't tell me I am. Am I? Am I? Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck! He's gonna power up. Son of a bitch! Screw you, Majin Buu! This is actually the first time I I lost in like a while, guys. I haven't. I haven't lost since like the very first couple of episodes, guys. But right now, I'm actually gonna try because this is really getting on my nerves. Majin Buu is really pissing me off. I'm sure, like, if I if anybody was Vegeta in his shoes when he fought Majin Buu, they I, they they would have you know experienced the same. But I wonder if I do the final explosion, if that's gonna work. Come on, Majin Buu. Mega. Where do you go? Oh shit! 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 shit. See, look at that. He, he he keeps getting me off guard and shit like that. Mega. I would have loved to see like a bunch of Super Saiyan 3s fight Majin Buu, or at least Super Buu for that matter, you know? They could have done so much more, like for me, I would have dragged every freaking saga to its very limit, you know? Because like, Akira Toriyama, he had so much potential with these characters, and he, and he still does, you know? I mean, it's not like these characters don't exist anymore. Uh-oh, Majin Buu's mad. But, uh, definitely it's, <clears throat> it's definitely too late to go back now into the Dragon Ball Z realm and change everything but if if you know you were allowed to and if you know you were allowed to go back and do every episode all over again I, I would definitely incorporate so much more um just I, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan to the point where you know I am willing to uh you know change a few things because there are some things that definitely need changing um and there are definitely things that were you know that didn't make any sense 
but for me it's like I would definitely change a lot of things. I would definitely make every villain uh, I, I, I would utilize them so much more, you know? Um, I think Akira Toriyama only utilized uh, Frieza as much because Frieza actually was one of the main villains that legitly you know, went all out against Goku. He didn't really hold back, you know? Whereas in everybody else, they, techni they technically held back. This freaking guy's pissing me off. No matter what I would do to him, he's not dying. Fuck yeah! Wow, why would you, well, like, fly into my shit again? Come on, Boo Boo. Oh, what the hell? Oh, shit. Yeah, Majin Buu is way too strong. He keeps regenerating and shit. I remember when I first saw Majin Buu, like, I, I was expecting, like, some crazy-ass villain. Nope, here comes like this fat, overweight, purple shit come out from like this little fucking tube and I'm just like, this is Majin Buu, there's gotta be something more to it because I remember as a kid, I used to play on the PS1 actually back in the day as like these weird Buu characters but I never knew who they were, I was just like, hey, wasn't there like a skinny one and a dark one and a short one and a fat one, like alright, I see the fat one but where's everybody else? At that time period, I never really understood. Um, <clears throat> I always used to watch Dragon Ball Z on, uh, Toonami and shit like that, uh, just to catch up and just to see what was going on, you know, like, every, every Tuesday and Thursday or whatnot, something like that. And, uh, for me, like, I never really understood who Majin Buu was, but as the sagas and as, like, the episodes went on, like, it just got more eerie from there, you know, like, it, 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 def it, it was definitely, like, something good, you know, because at, at least we saw Majin Buu, like, you know, do something different for once and you know the evil one came out and whatnot it, it, it was certainly very cool um but they definitely could have done more um at least for me they could have done they could have utilized evil boo a little bit more uh th that character is still a mystery if you think about it um you know because if you look at evil boo it's like all right cool we have evil boo but what, what does he do you know like how strong is evil boo because that right there gives me the impression, alright, like, if he's able to beat the shit out of Majin Buu easily, then could he possibly beat, uh, Goku, you know, as a Super Saiyan 3 easily? Because, I mean, Majin Buu was definitely struggling when he fought Goku as a Super Saiyan 3. You can clearly see that, um, because Goku wasn't really, he was toying with him, you know? He was just like, alright, I'm, I'm just gonna fuck with this guy just to see how he fights. And that's what Goku does, like, he, he fucking, he toys with his opponents just to show you how they fight. Which is very, very smart because if I was somebody spectating on the other side, and I, 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 I would definitely want to see how that other person would fight. You know, like I wouldn't just stand there and just go, "Oh, okay, well, you know, I'm just gonna fight this guy without knowing what he, what he can do." You know, at least that that certainly doesn't make any sense for me. This is a fight right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are going at it, and I am like on two bars of health. Like I really do hope that I pull this off because if I don't, I'm gonna be one pissed off Dragon Ball Z fan. And I really wish that they make another game. It's like, it's way overdue. Like, guys, it, you, you all know exactly what I'm talking about. It's way overdue. When was the last time we had a legit Dragon Ball Z game? What, 2011? Uh oh. Do it, Vegeta. Do it. The final explosion. I remember when I first saw that, I was like, can Vegeta only do that? Or can everybody else do that as well, you know? Uh, certainly, like, after I started watching GT, it was like, well, one of the worst so well, franchises ever was Dragon Ball GT. Um, that got me thinking, you know, like, when Goku grabbed Omega Shenron and threatened to blow himself up, I was just like, oh my god, he's actually gonna do it. Until, you know, Vegeta got in the way, so. Ah! Look at that. Epic. Vegeta sacrificed himself. Poor Vegeta. Bulma. Trunks. Kakarot. Goodbye. He didn't really fall to the ground. He pretty much blew himself up, you know. Just saying. Anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching this episode of Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 1, everybody. My name is Unum Entertainment Gaming. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news and information updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit it up with a like and a favorite. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Stay tuned for the next episode. Help support the series by spreading this video to your friends and family, guys. And on that note, I will be seeing each and every one of you guys later as Goku fights Majin Buu. Peace out!